We have a major update, a developing story at the U.S. southern border. Something horrible has been discovered. I'm David with Americans for Limited Government. If you want to close the border and you want to restore the U.S. Constitution, keep up to date with our news. Hit subscribe and hit follow right now. Let's jump straight into this story. So they, the Mexican military has seized 10 IEDs at the U.S. southern border. Now, in order to not get this video demonetized, I'm going to be creative. An IED is an improvised device. You can probably infer what the E is. It's meant to do no good against people. The Mexican authorities seized 10 improvised devices at the U.S.-Mexico border. First of all, why did it take the Mexican military to seize these devices? These devices, these IEDs were discovered after there were shots were observed at the border and an armed person was arrested on the U.S. side. CPB, Customs and Border Protection, is cautioning its agents to exercise extreme caution and report any possible armed subjects approaching the border with devices of this nature. The cartel fighting over a gap in the border fence is related to human smuggling as the areas are now, it's now used for that purpose. Republicans are pushing for increased border safety measures to be included in President Biden's $106 billion aid package for Israel and Ukraine. Democrats have rejected the comprehensive border security bill passed in the House and have proposed slimmer versions on border proposals. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced that the Senate will cancel part of its holiday recess to continue border talks. This is just outrageous. I mean, you literally have these destructive devices at the U.S. southern border that are used in times of war and we're negotiating on border security when there's literally there's fighting over human trafficking and at the southern border and having access to parts of the southern border for trafficking. This is ridiculous that this is even being an issue debated. The border should be closed. We literally have some some very horrible things coming through the border. And if the border is not closed, who knows? Hopefully I'm wrong, but who knows who will come through and what they'll do in major U.S. cities. This is really bad news. So we encourage you to call your Congress members and politely tell them, hey, vote to get this border closed. Keep provisions in this bill to keep the border closed. This is outrageous. Hey, if you appreciate this update, again, I'm David with Americans for Limited Government. Hit subscribe, hit follow. We'll be back with more news soon. Be safe and take care.